Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artisan Educator here and today we are going to do a tutorial of the nails which you have requested. So before you can see the set of the spider nails, you can actually have a week review of the spider nails in here. And there is tutorial for them, but also you wanted to see the skill which I have showed in this tutorial as well. So I have painted one for you, actually even a better one, have a week review of her in here. And that's what I'm going to exactly show you step by step. So it is a little bit more advanced tutorial. That's why I'm going to do it only on a one tip. But I hope you really enjoy it. And don't forget to check the previous tutorial as well of the spiders. Uh, but yeah, let's start this video. <laughs> There is tutorial on those nails, uh, except the sugar scroll, uh, on the channel. So if you didn't watch it, check out how to paint the spiders. Um, and then I will show you just the sugar scroll. Uh, because it is a little bit more advanced, so I will show you just on the one tip. And uh, I hope you really um, enjoy and learn something from it as well. So we are going to quickly prepare the Color Plus uh, gels. So I'm going to need some yellow. some white and the white I'm, I'm going to place white in a couple of spots so actually this one is at the end yeah I've got the new one but I wanted to use this one <laughs> I'm not showing the new one is actually having a different coverage as well uh, yeah but no I wanted to use the old one like I don't want to bin it just because it's not new there was still lots of product in there now I need some red I need some pink and we need some black so with the color plus you could create it any kind of color, uh, like absolutely any color. But when painting the faces, I quite like to help myself as well. And instead of playing too long and mixing the colors, quite often I would use some uh, gel polish as well uh, to achieve like um, and a skin color. So light rose is quite nice for a skin color. And I can have it. And then I will grab some brownish color for hair. Oh, it's peachy. That's actually nice for skin too. This one is more brown. No, it's not. I was using it today. There we are. Almost naked. No. Adam and Eve, I think it was this one there we are so that will be nice for here okay so we are going to start first of all with some larger brush okay just to paint the shape of the face and I quite like those two colors mixed together as a skin tone so when painting the skin tone, you best to start using the medium tone. So not the lightest and not the darkest. Um, like medium tone is best. Okay, so here we are going to have the chin. You can also do like a wee cross so you know where the eyes are going to be and the nose. I'm just usually painting like straight away. And starting with the splash of the color. So it always looks ugly to start with. I wanted it to be pretty sharp shape. Okay, 
me start working through my coverage. I'm not bothered about the uh, outside lines because we are going to apply some here and there. This isn't important at all. Okay, and once I've got this background, what else you could do is clean your brush and kind of indicate the shapes. It's just going to be easier for you to paint. Okay, so the eyes are going to be here. Here is the nose, and I've got actually quite nice splash of the color there, so I can I can clearly see the nose in here, and then the lips are going to be there. Can you see? It looks like almost a ghost face, uh, but at least I know where I am. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, so the next one, when my tip is flash curing, I'm starting mixing those hair color. She's going to be blonde. So I've got different shades of kind of blonde hair. And she's having uh, lots of hairs in here. Give it a little swirl. And you can see it, I'm picking up all those different shades of the blonde. Here we'll place some roses in here as well, so I'm not bothered too much about those parts. And then flash. Okay, so we've got the hair painted. And now I can start swapping into the smaller brush because we will start painting uh, more of the detail. So uh, I'm going to start indicating where the uh, eyes are. I'll actually do it with the dotting tool, it will be quicker. and then drag them into more almond shape. Okay, then the nose. Actually, dotting tool is quite useful in this case.
and then just drag it. So we've got the nose, then inside the eyes I'm going to use some red as well, but well, we need to flash cure it at first. The hair takes lots of uh, time like and the detail, um, but they can be really um, nice as well. So I'm just going to quickly paint the neck and the neck is going to be a tone darker than the the other parts of the body, like the face. So the neck is here. And then a drop of the darker color just so it starts to separating from the from the chin I think this is a time when I'm working on my neckline and the chin a drop of the black which I'm working through like a wee shadow I can also add a wee shadow where the lips are going to be. I'm not trying to paint the lips yet. This is just the shadow. Plus some hairlines. just so it doesn't look as flat. We will go through those hairs many, many times. I have picked some white on my brush and now I'm painting the rose which she has in a hair. We need one more in here.
going a bit over her face and then cook it. She looks funny <laughs> at the moment, but it's the detail which makes uh, the things look nice and pretty. So flash cure. Okay, her eyes are going to be red. With the drop of the black, just so it's not like a um, very strong red. Now I can start painting the lips as well with the same color, like I want some places to be darker. Be careful when you're painting the corners, you don't want to make them too thick. Okay, so you can see it, I didn't use pure red, like, I mean, using pure red usually don't give you a nice results. She had some lip filler. <laughs> We need to make the lips bigger. And then give her a flash cue. We'll give her some cheek fillers as well. So basically once you do the outline, you can kind of do it like you would apply the makeup on as well. And uh, that's kind of pretty good tip for you guys uh, if you don't know where to start with the face painting. So start with like a flash um, color um, and then start applying some contouring and other bits and pieces. Now here I have done the love hearts uh, on this school, but uh, I don't know, I've got mixed feelings. Should I do the love hearts or should I do maybe something different, slightly different shape, uh, just to give you uh, different ideas. But anyway, um, what we want, rounded or love hearts, let's do... Let's do cameraman says triangle. No, triangle no. Normally the sugar school have like on those rounded shape. I don't know. I will do small rounded and then if so I could kind of swap it quickly. I actually quite like it rounded. I'm going to do it rounded. Sorry guys, not much talking when I'm painting like a very small detail. Because I don't want to damage it. Okay. And now give it a cure. Okay, so our next part is start giving some 
contouring and, and the things like so it start looking uh, nicer. So I'm just going to use the brush, the large one, and then we are going to do some cheek contouring. So I'm picking up a drop of the red mixed with this light color. Now we are going and even a top coat. Top coat is really great for um, shading like and applying the layers. So we are just going to give her some blush contouring, drop of it, clean the brush and then just a top coat to work it out. See, by adding those small detail, like even if it's a tiny detail, we're making a huge change. Okay, a bit of contouring there. Basically the same way like you would apply your makeup. And then we can uh, also add the detail inside the eye as well. I have just painted uh, black dots and then give it a flash kill. She starts looking Recon uh, like you can start recognizing what is going on in here, uh, which is a good stuff. Okay, now we are going to do the detail on the sugar ring. There we, there's still lots of work involved on the lips as well. So on the previous one, I have used the caviar beads. On those ones, I'm going to do much more the toilet look. More time consuming. I think it's nicer. And then the clean the brush again and the chain.
make her eyes more almond shape just by adding those two dots now where the rose is we are going to paint some chain and give it a flash kill so with a couple more details it would look not as bad but we could still make it much prettier okay so here where the rose is I'm going to paint some spider web It's just so it's slightly different than the previous one you have seen. Okay, so we've got like a wee spider web. I can start adding more detail into the lips as well. So I have hardly any black on my brush and I added more red. and then give it a flash cure. So on the previous one we had, instead of spider web, we had crystals, but you will know guys how to place the crystals, so I wanted to do a slightly different one. I think this one is harder to do it, so it's better for you on the tutorial to see the harder one. Okay, next step, we need to make the lips look nicer. So I've got white, mix with red on my brush and now we are going to start shadowing those lips okay so it will look like we lip gloss Not too much and not everywhere. So we've got it on the corner there and we've got it on the bottom. Okay, just a wee. Actually, I'm just looking in a camera and you know, guys, this is amazing. Actually, I, could, I should paint it in a camera because camera can catch more than the human eye. <laughs> And um, it's funny because when I used to take a part in the competitions, mm, when I painted something, I would take a picture of it and then zoom it in to search for any imperfections. Now, I don't want to spend too long time with it. At the same time, I don't want to stop it uh, yet. There is so much 
detail which we will need to add on it to make it like really pretty and realistic. Uh, so um, I'm just going to, so I have to hurry up, I have to add it. Ah, okay, cameraman says I have to add it. Okay, yeah, I could, I could. Okay, I will so. keep adding, keep adding more detail, okay. So basically the more detail, every single line is going to make a huge difference to this girl. Okay, he say keep adding. Okay, I'm going to keep adding then the detail. Okay, I will. That's lashes. Yes, it's almost like they are invisible, but they are there and they're changing the shape of the eyes. Shadow under the lips. Shadow in the chin. Okay, let's do shadow in the nose as well. I just need to add a tiny bit more shadow here at the top of the head. And underneath of the rose. Okay, and now the hair. Got lots of work to do on the hair. Top coat. Mm. Lots of top coat mixed with this color because she don't want to have too yellow blood. <laughs> and because I've got it with the top coat, I'm st we still see this color from underneath coming through it so those hairs are more alive, like they are not as fake. Same the roses, I'm not going to make it as fake, I will make it more real. Because actually from the cartoon, uh, because we have added much more detail into it, so from the cartoon we're starting getting more realistic picture. Okay, white mixed with the hair color because now we are going to do the highlights like lots of highlights. So if you want to have a hair nice, you would spend like an hour just on painting the hair. <laughs>
on the top of the head you can add more And then the strand going on the face. Okay, I mixed a drop of the black with the blonde. And here I want the darker color at the roots. The ones which are close to the face, that's where I've got the darkest. Same on the other side, the one close to the face are the darkest. And then give it a flash cure because the hairs we've got we starting to have this is half of the background so there is still much more added on okay so that's this layer of the hair cured and I'm going to mix more of the brown color so we can you can make it kind of an ombre ombre hair I added a drop of the red into the black and then mix it with this hair color. And a yellow. Okay, that's a nice one. So the more colors you put through it, and the better results you will you will get and the top coat okay we need to do the roots So basically what I'm doing is an ombre. <laughs> I'm giving her an ombre here. <laughs> She's a fashion sugar school. Can you see it how we have created like those curls into the hairs? It's wavy looks much more nicer now. Okay. 
when you're painting the hairs, like make sure you kind of paint it almost the same direction. Slight even darker where the rose is. And then give it a flash cure again. So her hair start looking more realistic. It's still lots of uh, lots of more work would be involved to get like an, a real human hair. I should still go with the medium color and then put the highlights through it. I'm just going to do it with the highlights through it. And that will be painless because I don't want to keep you bored, guys. Or maybe just do it on some part of the hair. Um, So I've got my white. It's all about, all about layering color on top of the color. Okay, let's add some more detail into the rose. And then we will just cook her and put the top coat over it. I could probably spend another good half an hour on her like to get her really nice without of rushing um, and then it will be a human a really realistic human face I find it like to paint like a really realistic human face um, it can take even as long as two hours on the tips like on the one tip because it's just touch by touch Okay, no, that's plenty. I'm not going to play anymore. says plenty and she keeps going and going. I'm just adding a couple more hairs. Last one. Okay, that's finished. <laughs> like totally finished. She's finished. I'm not going to do anything more. 
I just wanted to add more realistic look to the hair. Um, I'm going to cook it, apply the top coat, and then you can guys see the final results. So a little bit more than um, the previous sugar skull. Uh, but I just wanted to show you some more advanced nail art. So that's another like a more basic version. And then we've got a little bit more realistic version. So I'm just going to apply the top coat over it. And then you can see it, the final look. So once the top coat goes over the design, everything becomes even much prettier. Uh, you can see it. That's what we have painted today. And I hope guys you have learned actually quite a lot from it and you have enjoyed it as well. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now. Mm -hmm.